Well, hello there, Dolly family out there. Welcome to my world of fun and inspiration channel. Thank you for subscribing, liking, commenting on my channel. I appreciate all of you. Today, I come to you with Aspen, my partial silicone from Ashton Drake Gallery. She's Tasha, that's her original name. She's my Aspen, and I am going to do a tag that's called Who Are You? And the tag started from Tammy, the Reborn Nursery, and also Gerilise. She uh, started the tag as well. So, I'm piggybacking um, from both of those, um, those channels, and there are 10 questions, and I am going to um, temporarily show my face while I'm talking right quick, and then I'm going to go back to the baby for the remaining of this video. So I hope everything is front and centered so I don't have to repeat this video again because I have deleted this video several times, y'all. This is just terrible. I've had a horrible time trying to get this uh, video together. Um, I guess I'm trying to make perfection, okay? Um, so I'm going to go through 10 questions and answers. I'm going to make it as interesting as possible, but fun at the same time. And let me turn it back to the baby. Okay, let's begin with the first question. What's your name or how do you like to be called? My name on the channel, of course, is Mrs. Sheila because I am married and I want the whole world to know I'm married. But <clears throat> I see you all as my family and friends. Please call me Sheila. Please feel at home. You can comment at any time. Just say Sheila or you can say Mrs. Sheila. I don't care how you say it. Mrs. Sheila's just there for the world to know who I am. Okay? Second question. What's your favorite color? My favorite color is blue. Any kind of blue. I love blue. Navy blue, royal blue, turquoise blue, ocean blue, uh, baby blue, sky blue. <laughs> uh, did, did I say, um, well, I think I named off all the the blues I can think of, but if it's any other blues in between, believe me, I love it. If it's blue, I am crazy about blue. Um, of course, I incorporate other colors. You know, pink is very pretty. Green is pretty. There's a lot of green in Aspen's blanket. There's some yellow. There's some rainbows. There's some white. But blue is definitely my top color. Uh, Aspen's little seat has a blue handle. It's uh, dark blue and green. So, yeah. Let's go ahead to the third question. What do you like to do in your spare time besides dolls? I love to read. I love to write. I love to draw. I haven't drawn in a while. But that's something that I like to do in my spare time. It makes me happy. I love to play with the dolls. And like you said, besides playing with the dolls, but I still had to say that because I'm looking at her and I'm looking at that little smirk behind her pacifier. That's one thing I love about when real babies have pacifiers in their mouth. It just shows how adorable they are, even with the pacifier in their mouth. So, so, so cute. Uh, let's go ahead to the next question, which is four. Prefer movies or books? I prefer books because I love to read. I love to use my own imagination. I love to create my characters. I love to uh, make the characters look the way how uh, the personality fits them when I'm reading the book. Uh, but on the other hand, there are movies that books depicts like, for an example, um, The Color Purple. If you read the book, you will see that there's more details in the books than it is in the movies because the movies are very expensive to create and they do a whole lot of editing. 
So you're missing out on a lot of details of the color purple if you don't read the book. So kind of let the movie and the books kind of piggyback. Also, um, I would say Waiting to Exhale is another movie that I watched and also read the book. Uh, oh, we the movie itself is juicy, right? Read the book. If you really want to read details that has been uh, edited out of the movie or just wasn't a part of the movie at all, read the book because it's in the book. Another movie, which is very important and has something to do with black history, Roots by Alex Haley. I'm telling you, if you want to know the hard, raw uh, truth about slavery, read the book. The movies, is it was like what? How many parts to Roots it was? It's been so long since I watched Roots. There's a whole lot of different parts to it. But it, it was really, um, you know, they, they made the movie... Uh, some parts is sensitive and other parts is more the comic, comical. And my understanding is they did it that way to not cause a racial riot, you know. And I understand that because if they had made that movie anything like how Alex Haley uh, wrote the book, it probably would have caused some type of racial uh, riot in that time when that movie Roots came out. But that's just an example how um, movies and books kind of work together, especially if they actually have a book out about specific movies, okay? So I love movies and books. I love Lifetime, based on true stories. Uh, I love Pure Flex movies. Um, so I love uh, inspirational movies. Uh, I can go on and on and on. But... I mostly prefer books because like I said I like to um, I like to have my own characters look in the way how I prefer to imagine my characters looking how do you okay this is question five now how do you describe yourself I describe myself as a basically peaceful person I mind my own business I try to make friends, not enemies. Um, I try to live in harmony, live in peace, not only with my own spouse and family members, but even when I meet people outside of my household, I try to be more uh, respectful and, and happy and drama-free. Uh, I, I try to uh, be the person that God made me to be. Uh, so I describe myself as um, as genuine as possible, and I hope and pray that I meet other other genuine people. And for the most part, I have. I really have met a lot of genuine people, and I thank God for that. Question six: What thing you should do in the morning to start your day on the right foot? I like to make sure I pray. Even if it's just a short prayer, I make sure when God kisses me on my forehead and wakes me up and let me know that I've been counted worthy to see a brand new day, I hope and pray by faith that my family members are awake and well and I'm not going to get a phone call telling me anything different. So I try to make sure I do that. And like Jerry Lee said in her, on her channel, that she likes to wake up early. I like to wake up early too, even if it's a day I don't have to go to work because I work early. But on my off days, I tend to try to sleep in. But even then, I try not to sleep in too late because if I sleep in too late, then it throws my day off. Uh, anything that I need to do important is thrown off, it's delayed. If I even get a chance to do everything, if I sleep in too late, it makes me more sluggish. It makes me procrastinate more because now not only is it later than I want it to be, now I'm upset because I got a rush and I hate rushing. Um, our vehicle is totally down. Um, our, um, oh God, I think it's called the head gasket. It, it, it busted. So 
it's going to be a minute before we replace the vehicle. It's the only vehicle that we had running, well, only vehicle we have. So um, now I have to either walk or take the bus or take the cab. So that makes it even more vital that I get up early and get my day off to a very successful start. And that is not sleeping my day away. Oh, she's so adorable looking up at me, y'all. It's almost like she wants to just bust out and start laughing. She thinks my answers are comical, y'all. Let me know in the comments what you think about my answers as well. Um, the next question we have, uh, uh, question seven. What is your greatest virtue that can also be your greatest flaw? My greatest virtue is my spirituality. I love the Lord. I love going to church. I love spreading the gospel of Jesus Christ. And I do that through my spiritual groups on Facebook. I also have a dog group. But um, my greatest flaw would be I'm human. I fall short most of the time. I really do strive for perfection. But nobody's perfect but God himself. So sometimes, uh, depending on the situation, um, um, I have to be careful that, um, that I don't, um, you know, offend anybody being human. So the flaw would be, uh, I'm not ashamed to put it out there that I'm a Christian, but sometimes it can be used against me. And um, not just me, you know, hey, they did it to Jesus Christ, too. They they would do it to you also, uh, loved ones and Dolly family out there, you know. Uh, so just don't let, don't get discouraged, you know what I'm saying? We too blessed to be stressed. We just got to get the thing right, you know, and move forward. You know, the biggest thing we have to do and I have to do is forgive myself, forgive others, and know that uh, God don't hold nothing against us forever you know once we get that thing right <laughs> we can move forward that's why we forgive others so that when we fall short god will forgive us too so that would be a flaw uh just you know me putting out there that i am a christian in every way and um you know sometimes things could be uh twisted and um you know things can can just be uh set against you when you're a christian because it's almost like people is waiting for you to fall waiting for you to do something that's uh out of something that they feel like you should do you know and and i'm not saying that people should purposely do stuff but mistakes do happen and um christians we make mistakes just like anybody else and uh, so that that would be a flaw that that I will have, and um, I might think of something else. But right now, um, I'm just gonna move on to question eight. What things you enjoy the most? I enjoy, uh, I enjoy my husband. I enjoy my grandbaby, my family. I enjoy my my hobby. I enjoy my baby dolls. You know, that's my happy place. That's my place where. I can dress my baby dolls and um, it's a place where um, I feel like there's no judgment even though yeah outside of the hobby there's plenty of judgment both good and bad but when I'm alone with my dolls there's no judgment it's just me and my babies and and just me having pure love and fun and um, so that's something that um that I enjoy the most. I uh, I enjoy everything God has put in my life. You know, he he has put a lot of good in my life and I appreciate it. I'm just one of those type of people. I'm not hard to please. So, I I have more fulfillment in my life than things that don't make me happy. So, Question nine, what things you most do daily? I pray, I read my Bible daily, I um, I spend time with my family daily. Um, I don't always play with my dolls daily, but I do look at my dolls daily. Um, I can't help but see my dolls because they're not hidden, they're out and open. So um, it makes me feel good to take a glance at my dolls and just see that, that innocent, realistic um 
looking baby that the dolls portrays you know that it just looked like a a bunch of babies in my house you know and they're the quietest babies in the world <laughs> a babies that don't cry that that don't make noises they don't mess up they're the perfect little babies so um all that makes me feel good and if i could stay away from stress and unnecessary drama that is a added plus question number 10 say something I don't tolerate. I I don't tolerate uh foolishness. I don't tolerate uh uh lies and deceit. Um I'm gonna piggyback off what Jalise um Jerry Lee said on her channel. You know, I know exactly how you feel. I I, I just I can't stand it. I can't stand for uh, a a purpose lie a purpose deception i don't like that i mean it's one thing to um you know if a person lying and you and you don't know they're lying and you have to just kind of use discernment and hope and pray that you discerning them and and, and you're hoping that you're not looking at them in a worse way. But when somebody lies in your face about things that you know is a lie, that's, that takes it on a whole nother level. And then I have to remember that God want us to love our enemies and forgive our enemies. And, and then he want us to be wise as a serpent and humble as a dove, you know. So you have to ask God, okay, Lord, how do I handle this? How do I um, show that I'm a Christian? How do I not get out of my character in this situation? Because, you know, we lead by example. Yeah, we do. We're not perfect, but we still have to keep in the, the forefront that we are leading by example. And... um one thing I like what Maya Angelou said, she said, when a person show you who they are, believe it. So a lot of times um, people who are Christians are misunderstood. Like we supposed to be uh, doormats and stuff like that just because we're Christians. And But the Bible tell us to be wise as serpents, but humbles at, at humble as doves. So it's not God's will for us to be doormats. He want us to be wise. He want us to seek him for wisdom. He said, if you, if you don't have wisdom and you want wisdom, ask him for it. So God is able to give us wisdom. And this prayer that I really love, and I'm going to paraphrase it because I don't remember it word from word, but it goes a little like, um, give me the courage to change the things that needs to be changed and the wisdom to know the difference when I can't change it. So that prayer applies to Christianity as well. There's some things that we can change. You know, we try to work with people, try to work it out and uh if it's something that can be changed then we pray that god will give us the wisdom how to change and to know the difference when we just have to just do what maya angelo said yeah, when a person show you who they are believe it you know and keep it moving keep moving forward we're too blessed to be stressed and drama drama is something it's just a it's a choice drama is a choice drama is not something that uh you have to participate in people choose to make drama god want us to choose to be peacemakers so um that's why i don't tolerate deception and things like that i like to be a peacemaker and i don't tolerate anything less than being a peacemaker um, I like to believe that I am a lover and not a fighter. And when I say that, <clears throat> that's on any level, whether it's uh, on a, a, a romantic level when it comes to my marriage, whether it's on a level when it comes to my family, um, my friends. I just, I prefer to show y'all love over hate. I prefer to show y'all love over anger and confusion and confusion is of the devil anyway that's not of god anyway so yeah i don't tolerate confusion i don't tolerate um sadness and depression and anxiety uh any situation that cause sadness depression anxiety 
uh, I'm praying that God would uh, remove that quick, fast, and in a hurry because it doesn't make me feel good. It doesn't make people feel good that I'm around. It, it sends off bad vibes. It's, it's just downhill with that type of atmosphere and environment. And um, so that's all I have when it comes to the tag questions and answers today. I hope you all enjoyed it. And thank you, Tammy and Jerilise. And um, I just really appreciate uh, helping out with this tag and getting it spread abroad. And um, please like, comment, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. And I really, really hope you all have a very blessed Monday evening. Bye. And Aspen says she loves you. And thank you for watching her and looking at her and admiring her. Let me know how much you like Aspen in the comments. Bye.